Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to Trippy Commentaries. We have two huge secrets to look at here in Red Dead Redemption 2. Thanks for joining up for the new episode. What the heck? Buell, what are you doing over here? All right, let's get out of here. We have to go to the town of Armadillo. Once one of the most iconic places from the first Red Dead Redemption, it has been completely overtaken by the plague here in the prequel. So the first secret is going to be right outside of Armadillo City Limits. And then we have to look at an Easter egg towards the real first Red Dead Redemption, which is really Red Dead Revolver. So thanks again for joining up for the episode. Make sure to subscribe if you are new. Hit the notification button. We have a ton of live streams coming up, so that way you don't miss them. Huge shout out to a member of our community, Capinology. This game has more hidden secrets and unsolved mysteries than any other, and Capinology has been a big help behind the scenes. Both of the secrets that I'm going to show you in this episode our courtesy of Capinology. He actually has a channel here on YouTube as well. I'll put a link in the description. Make sure to go show him some love. We have Buell. He's no longer humping the pole. We got ahead above the L's in Armadillo. This is where you can find the secret location. Now, I thought that John Marston could not read very well. It turns out that he can read another language. I kid you not. You can also find a secret hat here as well, so definitely make sure to come here yourself and collect it. You'll notice when you ride up, you will see an X signifying the dead body. There it is. Out in the middle of nowhere. Be careful when you're out here, guys. A lot of times there's just random outlaws that'll come and shoot you for no reason. Trust me, I know from experience. So go through the cacti and you'll find this campsite. Here he is. We got a dead body. You can loot him to find a note. Now this note is in. Chinese. I wish we could steal his clothes. It's a nice outfit you have there, partner. So inspect the document. Come on, bring it up. We got the letter to Zhao Yi from Zhao Wei. Sorry if I butchered that. But there it is. Look at that. It's in Chinese lettering. But somehow, John can actually read the writing so we can know what it says. It says, Dear Zhao Yi, I appreciate your efforts to search for your cousin Zhao Ming in America. So definitely read it for yourself. Maybe pause it if you want to read it right now. But if you look at the bottom, it says she is a little more than a sorceress who has imprisoned his heart and encouraged him to betray his family. Very interesting stuff. Definitely something going on there. Let me know if you guys have any thoughts. But even more importantly, right here, you can find the Chinese hat. Easily one of the best hats in the game. Because it's a fedora. You can rock the fedora here in Red Dead Redemption 2. It looks pretty good on John, I have to say. So here it is once again. Make sure to come out because you cannot inspect it yourself. That is very ominous, guys. The note in Chinese that John Marston can read. Perhaps we can find the lady that it talks about. Some sort of sorceress because he's dead out in the middle of nowhere. So much love again to Capinology. This is the first huge secret. We got another one that is a link to the real first Red Dead Redemption. It is called Red Dead Revolver. Did you know that the main character of the first Red Dead game is named Red? Let's hear what they have to say in this random encounter. Hi. Hey, partner. Join me, or the predators will think I'm on my lonesome. Thank you. You a bounty hunter, mister? No offense, I just know the type. I done some myself a couple years back. Like most things in life, it don't live up to the billing. And yeah, my brother, he's dead now, but he used to tell me stories about Red Harlow. Yep, you probably heard of him. Legendary bounty hunter bringing the savage outlaws of the frontier to justice. Man who watched his parents get murdered in front of him as a boy, but who uses that pain to become a better man and ultimately to wreak his vengeance. I don't know. Uh, bounty hunting never felt like that to me. Nothing heroic about riding for three days to turn in some low-down chicken thief. Nothing easy in this life. So I can't sit around all day. Hey! Uh, uh, remember what 
your face look like before this. Here he is, the man, the myth, the legend, Red Harlow. So this gameplay may look a little bit dated to you, but this is what started it all. Red Dead Redemption 2 is now one of the most popular games of all time, and it has this game to thank. Look at it, man. The graphics are so aged, but it actually looks pretty fun. I have not played Red Dead Revolver for myself, but we'll definitely do a live stream playthrough. It's available on the PS4. What the heck? Watch your step. Falling from high distances can cause damage. So there he is. That's the original Red. Whoa, he can jump way higher than both Arthur and John. It really doesn't look too bad at all. It actually looks pretty fun. Let me know if you guys have played this one before. I will tell you it's not an open world game, so you're not going to really be exploring. It's pretty much just a shoot em up. You're going through these courses. Man, this looks awesome. I really want to play it. I'm going to actually purchase this one after recording this video. But there it is, guys. Red, the original outlaw from the Red Dead series. The only reference that I've seen in Red Dead Redemption 2 is just that one guy telling us the tales of Red Harlow. And this is him in action. Like I said, there's still so many unsolved mysteries. And our community is definitely working hard to solve them. Especially Capinology. Thanks again to him. Wow, look at this. Okay, so it's got the scratch lines. It's the original Armadillo. This is awesome, man. As always, we got to cremate this dude. And stay trippy, my friends. Y'all come back now, you hear?